How's it going everyone? Electron Man. Hope everybody's doing good out there today. Oh, I've got a few updates and uh, got some exciting news. Uh, got a lot of new projects uh, in the works as far as my uh, CB radio and shortwave repair videos. And uh, I, obviously I'll throw in anything else that comes along the line. Uh, work's been kind of piling up on me. As you can see, uh, i got quite a bit going on here. Um, which is good news you know you guys know I lost my job last year uh, that's September due to COVID and uh, been kind of just struggling along trying to do some YouTube videos and uh, kind of getting back to my core um, I repaired TVs and CBs and ham radios for 20 years and then I uh, got to work in a hat in the field but anyway kind of been a you know you've seen a lot of my videos rolling here uh, kind of what I've been doing having a good time doing it and I'm actually picking up some business as I go kind of words getting out that uh, I do repairs and uh, I'm picking up a little extra cash here and there but uh, anyway the really exciting news is is that I uh, went out uh, garage selling this last weekend and uh, well actually today Sunday I went garage selling actually Thursday Friday and Saturday but uh, they had a in my city they had a, like a big garage sale weekend it was tax free for the kids to go back to school and it was a free garage sale weekend I guess Usually you have to buy a license and pay for a garage sale, but this last weekend they had it to where um, you didn't have to pay the fees, you could just have a garage sale. So there was, well, there were so many garage sales that um, I pooped out and that and uh, <laughs> my little uh, four-door or uh, four -door blazer just got full. I mean, I didn't have any more room to put anything in there. Um, some of it was, or a good portion of it was stuff that, you know, I like, shortwave radio, CBs, mainly CBs, uh, picked up probably seven or eight cbs uh picked up three scanners uh picked up one shortwave radio uh picked up a bunch of other stuff too a nice chair etc but uh anyway exciting thing is is i got a lot of new content um coming up as far as cb repairs we'll go through each one of them i mean it's garage show stuff some might work some probably don't um it'll be a little mixed podge and get to see some new stuff i i picked up this real cool uh johnson uh what was that messenger 350 with a vfo that ought to make an interesting video i think it's ultra rare i went out looking and not a single youtube video on it and uh i don't know i don't know what it's worth i don't know if it works but a cool looking thing it's only two channels but with the vfo i'm not sure how that works in sideband but uh, got a good deal on it so either way it'll make some good content and i'll have some fun playing with it but uh anyway back to uh back to uh the bench here uh I need to get to work. Actually, I got a computer that came in. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but I uh, I do quite a bit of a, I used to do a lot of computer bills and repairs. Uh, of course, then, you know, they got kind of cheap and people are just buying off the shelf. And I think people are kind of wanting to, they're watching their dollars a little bit more now. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm getting some of uh, my business that way. And I've got a couple of them repairing. I need to, this bench, I have been doing nothing but radio and shortwave CB stuff. And uh, I really hadn't set up my new bench in my new shop to work on PCs. So, uh, Anyway, I'm going to have to do a little work on that. I found a uh, cool little 6-inch uh, LC display I'm going to mount up here and kind of get me set up to do that. I'll, I'll throw a video up of me uh, testing this PC that got dropped by me and uh, kind of see how my new bench set up for that part is as far as the rest of the bench and uh, see if I can get that guy going. I know he said the power supply went out and he put a new power supply in and now when he powers it up, he gets nothing but no signal. So my guess is either he knocked something loose in there or... Um, he said he blew it out too, so there's a good chance it just needs the memory uh, cleaned with an eraser and reseated. A lot of times I see that, especially when you blow them out. But uh, anyway, we'll get to that. But main point today is I just kind of wanted to give you an update. I know it's been a few days since I did a video, and just want to let you know uh, things are going great. Had a great garage sale weekend. I probably hit 20 or 30 of them, and and uh, and I picked up a CB here, a CB there, a scanner here. I hit one hot spot and got four or five of them. Um, you know, obviously, unknown condition. You know, I'm getting you know, five to ten bucks a piece is all I'm gonna pay for something like that. And I actually got a lead on a base and a linear that I'm hoping is gonna. He uh, he said he had it in a shed. I'd actually bought a CB from him, and he said he had one in a shed, but he'd have to dig it out. And he said he I left him my number, and he said he'd give me a call. And uh, you know, when he got it dug out, and see if I was interested in it. So that that might be kind of interesting, kind of. I always like to see an old base CB that's been buried somewhere as far as in the back shed somewhere. Who knows what it is? 
kind of anxious or it could be a nothing but who knows let's hope for it's a cobra 2000 or something and i can get it for the right price but uh anyway here uh, here's the first item i wanted to show as far as the garage so we're gonna go short way first but uh yeah she's pretty rough looking i was kind of excited when i first saw it i thought oh boy this is a this is an old radio well actually it's not it's a it's some type of reproduction and uh, i i knew it once i turned around in the back let me in the back of it show you here yeah it's got inputs and outputs like to hook a cd player up to it interesting it's got a biff on, on off switch on the back which never seen that and it's got two dials back here which i have no idea what the two dials on the back are um but anyway we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is look how dirty this poor thing is it has been sitting on somebody's shelf for a long time he said it didn't work i'm hoping it's just a loose switch or he didn't you know short wave so he might have just had it in the wrong mode but uh we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it i mean get all this dead spider webs and everything else off of it i'm gonna take it outside and blow it off it's so nasty i don't even want this junk in the in the shop and take a look at it and see what we've got and i don't know if it's got a lit display or not i don't know a whole lot about it but um we'll probably at least have a video or two depending on uh how far i get into it. it is newer but it is analog so uh you know me it's pretty much if it's digital i'm not interested i i just I'm an analog guy, and I really like old, but, you know, hey, it, it's really cool looking. Uh, it's kind of a, it looks like it was a candy apple. It would definitely need a, if somebody wanted to restore it all way, it'd need a whole paint job. But I kind of like the patina, but we'll, we'll see after I get all the junk off of it and uh, how far we want to go and if it works and how much effort it's worth putting into it. But anyway, this is a, kind of an update video and show you my next project, which is going to be this one. Uh, the Dwight D is still on hold. I kind of. Did that uh, funny uh, smoke video? Just I hope I was hoping everybody enjoyed. It went viral. <laughs> Not wished it went viral. Uh, I think I got like 35 views on it. But uh, you know, I tell you what, I don't know how them guys do them videos. You know, like a Casey Neistat or somebody that was doing videos at that quality every day. I mean, that little old smoke video took me, you know, shoot four or five hours to edit that. I just don't know how they how they do. You know, a good quality video every day and i think casey did it for like 500 days in a row but i, I you know anyway i have really digressed but there's kind of a bunch of updates and wanted to tell you about back back to what i was talking about the dwight d i ordered a sam's manual for it it came in and i didn't look real close and i went out to the sam's site and it said a cb 121 was the manual i needed so then i went on ebay and man i was having a hard time finding a 121 manual then i found the sam's 121 manual and ordered it and I got it in, and it was uh, for uh, eight-track tape players. It was like EV's H121. It wasn't CB121, the manual I needed. So and then I had to go back on the hunt, find another manual. Um, at least this time, I did. I, I feel like I got a better deal. I ended up with, uh, I found, I think it was 120 through 125, which I, I love having Sam's manuals, so I don't mind having the extras. And I gave like 20 bucks for all five of them. So I got about four bucks a piece you know that's not too bad i paid 10 or 11 for that other one which i have no use for but we'll store it. who knows maybe one of these days i'll end up with an old eight track or one of the radios that was in that manual and i can use the manual but i have talked way too long i'm going to take this outside and blow it off and uh try to get all this nastiness off of it and uh kind of open it up and see what i got and we'll come back with uh with the first video series on uh this i was trying to see what brand it is I don't really see it says a uh, tune master i never heard of a tune master i don't know i have to go out there and look around and see what that is and i'm guessing this is probably made in the 80s anyway guys have a great day it's, it's been a good weekend for me i'm excited got a bunch of new content for cbs to look at and etc so i uh, look forward to to putting some videos out for you guys and if you get a chance please like and subscribe i'd really like to build my channel